All right, I'm sure a lot of you have been saying, uh, hey, you're working on this thing, and it's supposed to be a synthesizer, but we never heard any, any sounds out of it yet. We've seen some waveforms, but we haven't heard any sounds out of it yet. So, so I, th I thought I'd hook some things up and we'll get some sounds out of it today. Um, so I have uh, this board loaded for the most part. Um, I'm having problems with the voltage-controlled amplifier right now, so I just have it jumpered out, um, and I'm not going to be using the envelope generator, which would be modulating the voltage-controlled amplifier, so I just don't have that wired up quite yet. But I do have the power amplifier running, and I do have the mixer running, and I do have the oscillators running. So the oscillators have tone, so let me turn on one of the channels. So this is a, one of the channels. Here's a channel. Here's a channel. And so we turn them on. There you go. Perfect triad. So it's a, a major third and a, a fifth. So we could make it a, a minor if we wanted to. We could lower the third. There we go. There's a minor third, a minor triad. Ah. I've, there we go. Very nice. Turn that down. So the volume knob on the uh, power amplifier works as well. So progress. Uh, the uh, voltage controlled amplifier does seem to work sometimes, and then other times it seems to go into kind of a motorboating thing. So not quite sure what's going on. Something's Something is just not quite stable somewhere, and I need to figure that out. But uh, otherwise, things are looking good. Um, so instead of this being a super short video, I wanted to show you one circuit. And uh, we'll take a look at that. It kind of had me confused for a bit. And then I worked it out. So I will do that for you, and maybe you'll, uh, maybe that will be of interest to you guys. So let's take a look at that. All right, the circuit in question is the uh, voltage controlled amplifier. It is a uh, trans impedance amplifier, not trans impedance. Um, oh, now I'm not, not, not going to be able to say it. But anyway, you know, they're current uh, voltage input, current output, trans. Oh, shoot. Impedance, is this trans impedance? Not nah, anyway. Um, so that outputs uh, voltage in, current out. The current goes into a resistor that turns it into a voltage, and then it goes on its merry way and goes to another buffer before it goes to the outside world. Uh, the PC board has an error. My schematic does not have these two points connected, so I need to, I have to have a, a cut, and, not a cut and jump, just a jump, jump in the back to complete that circuit. So I have to change that on the, on the um, schematic and layout. Uh, but the way that they run the voltage into the control pin is uh, what I've done in the past is just pull this down. If you pull it down to minus, 15 volts, it turns off, and then if you go higher, uh, then it turns on. But really, it's a current control. You really want to input it with current. And so uh, I thought about maybe using an FET uh, as a current source and uh, maybe putting a, a, a Wilson current mirror and driving one side of the mirror. I probably will end up with that in the final solution. Um, I'm not crazy about what they've done here, but it, it, it is interesting. So what they've done here is they've got this funny transistor and then a buffer and a resistor. And I'm thinking, well, how does that work? What's, what's going on here? Because you really want to set up a current in this leg. And so you have basically a grounded base. So what's this transistor doing? Well, it's a grounded base. If you think about it, you can say, okay, well, if the base is grounded, then the emitter will always be a diode drop away from the base, right? So we should have a diode drop here at, at, the, uh, at the emitter. And whatever voltage you put on this side of the resistor, the other side of the resistor is always going to be 0.7 volts. And so whatever voltage you set up across 0.7 volts here is going to set up some current. And that current will be the emitter current and that ends up being the collector current. So this sets a current and then it mirrors it over here. So it's kind of a current mirror in a funny way. 
um, and I wasn't quite sure exactly how it works. So I had to draw myself a picture. <laughs> so a lot of times you'll, you'll look at a schematic and you'll go, well, that just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, and if you redraw it the way that your brain likes to see it, then maybe it helps. So in my brain, transistors always go up and down. They don't go side to side. So this is the way that I want to draw it. And so, and pluses are always at the top and minuses are always at the bottom. That's just the way my brain wants to see things. So I'm going to redraw it the way my brain wants to see it. Well, uh, this is the way it is. It's a PNP transistor. There's some plus voltage here and there's a grounded base. Again, that means that the emitter is going to be 0.7 volts. And I actually breadboarded it and confirmed that, yes, indeed, it's 0.7 volts. It's doing exactly what my brain says it's supposed to do. And so uh, you will set up a current. So if you have uh, uh, 10 volts here and you have a 10K resistor, you know, anyway, you can, you can figure out how many milliamps are going to go through this. And then over here, you're going to see how many milliamps go out over there. Um, and so, yeah, it is doing what I think it's supposed to do. Uh, that's a good thing. So anyway, it is doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, here, once again, the envelope comes in. So th this is basically used for the envelope. So when you press a key, it ramps up and then it, then it ramps down the tech and the decay. And that's going to be driving the envelope in. So the voltages in are going to always be positive voltages because they're referenced to ground. So everything is positive here. And then we'll inject current into the, uh, into the CA3380. And so that's the way that's set up. And that's what well, that's uh, stolen off of, uh, off of this Moog circuit. It's done different ways in different, uh, different Moogs. This particular Moog uses the 3080. Uh, the little, um, Moog, uh, Verkstatt that I got uses a, uh, uh, 13700 as its, uh, uh, as its, uh, voltage controlled amplifier. So this is more old school, but yeah, here's, uh, Here's the circuit here. It's got a, a 22K. So whatever voltage across that 22K sets up a current. And then that gets going up at this away. And there's a 33K over on this side. Now it says that the envelope goes between minus 15 and minus one. Um, and I think those are minuses. Maybe it's plus 15 to minus one. No, it's in the negative direction. I don't know. Some of these things are label funny and I just don't quite I don't quite, quite get it. Um, I've seen those errors in other things. Um, in the Verkstadt schematic, there were errors in that about which voltages were what. And uh, so there may be some errors in this as well. But anyway, yeah, there it is. The uh, envelope comes from this envelope generator uh, down over here, which I haven't played with yet. Um, anyway, that's the... Uh, that is the video for the day. Whoa, it's very, very low to me. There we go. So play some tone one more time. Stay in tune.